And welcome back, guys. We're here today talking about Andy Hillenberg, one of the drivers that was in the 2002 World of Outlaws video game. And we'll be looking at his career statistics here today on the YouTube channel. So Andy Hillenberg out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And yesterday we did Stevie Smith, who was out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, but, you know, maybe it was New Oxford, Pennsylvania. I'm not really sure for Stevie Smith. Uh, but I have been uh, doing my research here for Andy Hillenberg, and I found out that apparently he is cousins or something like that with uh, Stevie Smith, so I did not do that on purpose. Uh, just kind of a weird coincidence there. So Andy Hillenberg had a pretty healthy uh, career as a World of Outlaws full-time driver that we will get into here in just a moment. Uh, but I want to mention there are a couple of years here on this board that if there's anybody in the comments section below that knows what happened between 1990 and 1991 to Andy Hillenberg. I would love to hear about it down in the comments section below. The fun thing for me doing these videos so far is learning a lot about these guys that really I had no idea about their careers. I mean, obviously I've seen them in the record books and things like that, but did not really know much about them or about their racing career as a whole. And so that has been fun to learn. I'm a big history guy when it comes to racing and these videos have been really helpful. Uh, for me as well. I mean, being an announcer, I mean, you can use just about anything you can uh, when it comes to maybe being at a certain racetrack or, or things like that, that you can pull back and talk about. And so these videos will certainly help in that aspect of at least my announcing career. So I want to get right in here to Andy Hillenberg. And in 1988, he started out his full-time driving career with the Outlaws. He really didn't have, from what I read and what I've seen, did not have a ton of... Um, experience before he went full-time on the Outlaw Tour. In 1987, he ran about 20-ish races with the series, and before that, he ran a little bit with the uh, NCRA series, a little bit maybe with ASCS or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it really wasn't that much racing experience before he went full-time with the World of Outlaws. In all of these years, Andy Hillenberg is driving the familiar black number two car that we see in the 2002 video game. So in 88, his 80 starts, uh, was not able to get a win, but he did have 11 top fives and 43 top tens to finish sixth overall in the point standings. 1989, he does get his first two wins after 75 starts, 18 top fives, 41 top tens, and he would run seventh in the points in 1989. At the turn of the decade in 1990, this is where things get a little bit uh, weird, not really sure what happened here, but in 1990, he runs 29 races, does not run the full season, and then he doesn't run any races at all in 1991 with the World of Outlaws. And that was where I was talking about at the top of the video. If anybody knows what happened, I would love to know uh, down in the comment section below. 1992, he is back for 87 starts. One win that year, 29 top fives and 53 top tens. So even after missing a full year of action, he's able to come back and run fourth in the overall point standings with the Outlaws. In 1993, 83 starts. Nine wins, 35 top tens, and 61 top, or sorry, 35 top fives and 61 top tens for fifth in the overall point standings. So in 93, he triples his, uh, you know, the win count before he had, uh, you know, in going into 1993. He only had three wins between 89 and 92. So he tripled that in 93, a very good year uh, in 1993 for Andy Hillenberg. In 1994, I have that one written in green. In my opinion, this is the best season, uh, overall season that he had in his career. In 94, he had 88 starts, 6 wins, 39 top fives, and 68 top tens to go along with a third place finish in the overall point standings. After this, he will never crack the top three in points again with the Outlaws. He does run fifth, or, you know, fifth, top five quite a bit after this. 1995, 92 starts, 2 wins, 39 top fives, 74 top tens. And he was fifth overall in the point standings in 1995. 1996, 89 starts, two wins again, 33 top fives, 68 top tens, and he was sixth overall in the point standings. So as you can tell, like a lot of the time here, he's one or two wins, um, nothing too crazy. You know, he does have a couple of breakout years right there in 93 and in 94. But for the most part, he's winning a handful of races each and every year. 1997, 92 starts, two wins again, 44 top fives and 69 top tens, which is nice. Fifth overall in the point standings in 97. 1998, 87 starts, three wins, 34 top fives, 62 top tens, and he's sixth overall in the point standings. So in 98, or sorry, 97, that is his final year being inside the top five in points with the World of Outlaws. But uh, the, the best is yet to come here, I feel like. I mean, if you look at this board at the very bottom, you're going to be kind of confused, right? 
1999, or sorry, yeah, 1999, 89 starts, two wins, 14 top fives, 47 top tens, and he's 10th overall in the point standings. So quite a big uh, dip in, um, in the numbers there in performance in 1999, only 14 top fives overall. At the turn of the century, 2000, he has 89 starts, three wins, 24 top fives, and 58 top tens to go wrong with an eighth place finish in the point standings. So at this point in time, you're thinking, okay, Andy Hillenberg's slowing down. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is the end of the career, you know, whatever. But then he comes out in 2001. He has 92 starts and 10 wins. 10 wins. Uh, I mean, he had never had 10 wins in his entire career up until that point. As far as in a single calendar year, he had nine in 1993. But in 2001, 10 wins, 37 top fives, 58 top tens, and he would run sixth overall in the point standings. And that's it. The best, the most amount of wins in his entire career in one year, and he calls it quits after 2001. And from what I've read online, uh, it appears that he that the sponsorship that he had on his own car kind of went away, and that kind of was already going uh, he was already going kind of in the way of, of retiring. It sounds like he was kind of had it on the back of his mind that he was going to call it quits after 2001. Plus that with the sponsorship deal, uh, that kind of sealed the fate that he was done sprint car racing, which is crazy to think after 10 wins uh, that you would call quits. But hey, uh, teach his own. The World of Outlaws stats overall for Andy Hillenberg, 1,090 starts for him. 42 wins, and at, at first, so a lot of the, the articles I read, he said, it said only had 30 wins, but there a couple years ago, the Outlaws uh, included um, prelim night wins as well into their total win count, and so that bumped Andy Hillenberg up to 42, and he is at 18th on the all-time win list, just one in front of Logan Schuhart, so I would say by the end of the year, Andy Hillenberg will be jumping back down to 19th all-time win list. He had 360 top fives, so 33% of the time, he finished inside the top five and 717 top tens for 65% of the time he was inside the top 10 against the Outlaws. Now looking at the accolades and the achievements for Andy Hillenberg, he was the 1988 World of Outlaws Rookie of the Year. He at one point in time, he had 507 consecutive A-Main starts. And these years are prior to provisionals. So um, he did not need to take a provisional, or I guess they didn't have him, right? He, so he made the A main out of the heat race of the B main on 500 and consecutive, 507 consecutive times. And the 508th race would happen to be the Knoxville Nationals where he would not make the show there. Uh, I want to say, I, I actually can't remember what year it was, but he had a really, really good streak going there. I'm not sure if that's an all-time record. I would have to think Steve probably has that at some point in time. But that is a really, really good accomplishment there uh, to go that many races without having a uh, you know a mechanical failure, blowing an engine uh, early in the night, getting in a big wreck, and uh, and taking you out of contention. So 507 consecutive A main starts. He was the 1994 Chili Bowl Nationals winner. He had top five finishes at the Kings Royal, the Knoxville Nationals, the National Open, the historical big one, and the Silver Cup. He was not able to win any of those big races, but he did run top five and get very, very close. Uh, in all five of those races. Uh, in 1994 and in 1995, so back-to-back -back years, he won the Gold Cup Race of Champions at the Silver Dollar Speedway. In 2001, he won the night before the Kings Royal, so wasn't able to win the Kings Royal, but he was in contention during those big race weeks, including that win at the night before. And he won his final ever start with the World of Outlaws, and I found that quite incredible. We already talked about in 2001 having 10 wins and calling it quits. How about winning your final ever World of Outlaws race and then calling it quits? That is crazy to me. That happened at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And uh, Andy Hillenberg, I mean, he goes out on top. I mean, my dad always told me you're only as good as your last race. And Andy Hillenberg won his final World of Outlaws race of his career. That would not be the final race that he ever ran. He ran the Chili Bowl, I believe, in 2002. So one year after that, and that was it. Uh, he did not race again. And, uh, you know, today I think he follows a little bit along with, with racing. He goes to the Chili Bowl. He went to the Knoxville Nationals a couple of years ago, uh, but is not super heavily involved with racing anymore. And for a guy that has a 1,000 starts with the Outlaws, he did it. He went up and down the road for, you know, what is that, uh, 12, at least 12, 13 years uh, can you blame him? I mean, he did it. He did, he's been there, done that, traveled the country, and he doesn't need to be involved anymore. And he accomplished a lot of really good things along the way. 
and Andy Hillenberg was probably one of the cars, uh, one of those cars I picked the most. I was number two when I raced. I was terrible, but I was always number two. My dad was number two. Our cars were always black, just like Andy Hillenberg's. And so we, I would pick that car quite a bit in the World of Outlaws 2002 video game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, looking at Andy Hillenberg's career, a very successful career, 18th on the all-time win list with the Outlaws, and uh, a lot of good things came along the way for him. He wanted some really good racetracks. He wanted Ascot Park. He wanted Eldora. He wanted uh, some other big racetracks around the country. It was a successful career for Andy Hillenberg. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment. What do you think about the Andy Hillenberg and his career? Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Appreciate all your guys' support, and we'll be back here tomorrow to do another one of these driver career videos from the drivers in the 2002 World of Outlaws video game. Thank you, guys.